Hi guys, welcome back to Generic Fun 95. And today I want to tell you about tell you the follow-up of my kite that I lost a few days ago. Now you remember I was recording on my Kodak camera while launching the kite into the air. Did it all on camera on my Kodak ZD15. And then all of a sudden I let go of it because I wasn't paying attention to how much to my grip of the string. And then it went whoosh, across the field and landed at the tippity top of two trees. There's one, the string was in one tree and the kite was in another tree that was slightly shorter. Huh. I've tried everything to get it down. I tried throwing my ball at it, but I couldn't throw it high enough. And I tried a stick, I tried my chlorine stick, but it wasn't long enough. So I figured I'm going to get my stepdad to help me get it down because he has a lot of tools at his house. Well, it's in a public place, so I'm not sure about bringing a saw there. And also, climbing trees is pretty dangerous. If you, And I don't really want to climb a tree anymore because I'm too heavy to climb one. If I were to tr climb a tree right now, I'd fall and I get badly hurt so I don't want to do that also when I thought about climbing the trees both trees were too high for me to start climbing and also I think the kite is still there to this day it's been there been stuck there for four days now <laughs> and caught it on camera and I caught myself on camera losing the kite but it didn't record where it went, but I I uploaded a picture of my community post on in my community tab on where it went, the kite, not the string. But I ordered a new kite and it's gonna be here soon. Which I'm not really sure about it. Do you th also the other ways on how to get to the kite were for absolute torture. I had to bring my rubber boots and walk through the polluted river and also had to walk through wetlands to get to that tree. And I tried getting it down by th using a stick or throwing my ball at it. But to no avail, I found an abandoned baseball bat I tried to throw at it. And, I, and also that, and I tried using golf balls that I found, which a lot of people shoot golf there. And every now and again, once in a blue moon, I collect golf balls there. And I collect several dozens of them, which is pretty fun. Maybe one day I'll have a golf ball collection because these people, they just don't care about them. They just leave them. By the way, there's a very small chance of getting that kite back. Honestly, I think it's going to fade over time. The colors are going to fade away from the sun. And then it's going to fall. And then eventually it's going to rip from deteriorating and fall to the ground. And slowly biodegrade over time. And it won't be good anymore by the time it comes down, naturally. And there's only a 2% a a chance of getting it back. 98% chance it stays there forever because it's at the very top of those trees and it looks like absolutely no one can get them. And also I tried going across a log when I tried to get it back after my failed second attempt, after my second failed attempt. Don't ever do this unless it's a strong log. I was walking across it and then I... For some dumb reason, I grabbed a rotten branch and then ripped and I fell into the river. And I was very lucky because I really could have drowned. But it wasn't that deep at all. It was like a foot deep or so. And also, I, I saved myself by using my legs. And I almost lost this phone too. But luckily, I still have it. It still works like it should. Yeah, so trying to rescue that kite was a nightmare. And I don't think I'm going to get it back ever again. But luckily I'm getting a new kite. 
and I could record a new video of my new kite flying, of flying my new kite, I mean, and um, off camera, I'm going to make sure it's at a good height and then record it for as long as I want. And then off camera, I could completely control it so I don't lose another kite again. And that kite was, the kite I just lost was so special. Just got it 14 years ago from a fair, which is really too bad. And I almost lost it a few times too, but this time I may have lost it forever. So yeah, that's that. I lost my kite and I have almost no chance of getting it back and I'm getting a new one. It's best to just leave it alone instead of endangering yourself like an idiot like I did. And I learned my lesson never to do that again. And also ticks are very bad right now. So I had to shower every time I, f I tried attempting to save it so I didn't get any disease from them. Especially walking in the polluted river, which is a big no-no. And that is the follow-up on my kite right now. It's still in the same tree as trees as before, and it's still in the exact same place where I lost it four days ago. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for listening, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.